Hi, this is Ben Rollman. I am the artist behind the robot portraits. I've had a couple of people ask um, if I put down any construction lines before I do the robot drawings, and yes, I do. I don't just make that up as I go. But I'm using non photo blue pencil, and I've got a light source that I try to keep a little more diffused so it doesn't wash it out on the white paper. And all you end up seeing is the inked lines when I do the video. I do a little bit of sketch work beforehand. As you can see, I've, for the ones I'm going to be doing right now, I've done a couple sketches beforehand so I know what I'm doing. Um, but when I do construction lines for the final, it's not a whole lot of work. It's just a couple shapes just to give me an idea of where I'm going to be drawing stuff and then I'll go back to my sketches and see what details I need to put in. And here's the size of the cards that I do. Um, I'm using some mini pages, some mini Bristol pages from Eon, Eon Productions uh, Bristol board. And you can see I've just cut them so they're the right size. And I've got a bunch of these so for every page I get four cards. So it works out pretty well. And here's the tools I use other than some painters tape to hold the picture down while I'm drawing. The number two or the non-photo blue pencil. These are my go-to brushes, the Faber-Castell number B. These are the brush pens. I don't know if you can see that or not. It's a brush, very flexible tip. Um, I also use Microns. Um, that's a number one. That's one of my favorite ones. And I also use different sizes of pits and microns to get the job done. And then for coloring, I'll use uh, my Prismacolors. And I've got 20 or 30 of these. Um, and would you believe, I don't think I have enough. And then finally, if I've got any flesh tones, I'll use this holdout from uh, these Statler graphics pens. These are also brush pens. These are almost watercolor pens. They're very, very flexible. And uh, I don't use these much anymore because they don't blend well. But they also have the softer tip on the end. And that's pretty much it. So to give you an idea, let's, I'm going to do this one request for King Robot, Robot King. And the idea I want to get across is that he's a king so I'm going to try to do as much kingly work as possible, sort of stereotypical. Um, so I'm just going to put down a, a head about yay big, and then I want to get the chest in there, and the chest is going to be the important part because the chest is going to look like a shield. So basically I'm going to get the angle that I want in there, and he's going to be have his hands cupped over a sword, hilt, And if it was going to be any bigger, I was going to do a cape on him, but that's pretty much it. I mean, that's all it, that's all I do for construction lines. And then I'll go back through with my brush pens and do the details as we go. So if you look at other videos on YouTube or go to robotportrait.blogspot.com, you'll see the other drawings and videos done for the robot portraits. And if you would like one, Feel free to order one. Thanks for watching.